If you're asked for the square root of 25 with no other information provided, then you can assume that you're being asked for the principal square root, that is 5. So what are the non-principal square roots then? Well, let's think back to the definition of a square root. That is, what number multiplied by itself will give you this number? So for 25, well, we know that 5 times 5 is 25. So yes, that's definitely a square root. But also, negative 5 times negative 5 will also give you 25. So by the definition of a square root, well, we have two possible answers, plus 5 and negative 5. So to clarify, if you get asked for the principal square root of 25, well, you would say 5. If you're asked for the square root of 25, well, you can assume that they mean the principal square root and also say 5. But if you're asked for all the possible square roots of 5, well, that means they're looking for more than just the principal square root. So you would say positive 5 or negative 5, which can also be written as plus or minus 5. This symbol here indicates that we're including both the positive 5 and the negative 5 in our answer.